Beijing and Jakarta have pledged to maintain peace and stability in the region. As China's top diplomat Wang Yi met his Indonesian counterpart Retno Masudi for key discussions in Jakarta. Both sides touched on the need for continued economic cooperation while also expressing concern over the ongoing conflict in Gaza. CNA's Chani Vavani has all the details. A busy day for China's top diplomat Wang Yi as he made his rounds meeting several key leaders in Jakarta. Mr. Wang paid a courtesy visit to the presidential palace to meet with President Joko Widodo and through Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi, who accompanied them in the meeting, Mr. Widodo conveyed three points. The first, regarding the importance of the two countries' increasing mutually beneficial economic cooperation. Minister Ratno said that Mr. Widodo hopes China will continue to open market access for Indonesian products, increase transportation cooperation, such as high-speed trains, and invest in petrochemical plants in North Kalimantan. The second, on food security, where Indonesia encourages agricultural cooperation between the two countries to improve yield, especially for rice, horticulture, and durian. And the final message conveyed by President Widodo was regarding tensions in the Middle East. Bapak Presiden menekankan tidak ada pihak yang ingin melihat adanya eskalasi. Dan Bapak Presiden menyampaikan bahwa Indonesia terus melakukan komunikasi diplomatik dengan berbagai pihak termasuk Iran dan Amerika Serikat. Prior to meeting with the president, Minister Wang held bilateral talks with his counterpart, Minister Retno, during which both leaders expressed resentment over the humanitarian disaster due to the Israel-Hamas conflict. They agreed that the UN Security Council resolution on a ceasefire must be fully implemented and without any condition. Both foreign ministers were also in agreement on maintaining peace and stability in Asia and warned against any proxy wars. DOC加快推进COC的磋商，将南海建设成为和平合作之海。Mr. Wang also met with President-elect and Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto, where the two discussed cooperation in the defense sector, including in education, joint exercise and defense industry. Chani Vadvani, CNA, Jakarta.